Hello rope learners and flow lovers, my name is Laura Lai and welcome back to my channel, Lai Lai Lai. So in today's video, we are going to learn the rope flow movement, Rapador. And I'm going to cut the video into three parts. So the first part would be to explain what the Rapador is and to give you the techniques to get to the Rapador. The second part would be the drill for the rapador, the one side drill. And the third would be how to get the alternating rapador or alternately get into the rapador. Okay, so without further ado, let's go. I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Uh, it's been a while since I got excited. <laughs> okay, so hmm. what is the Rafador? So here are videos for the Rafador. Here is Raf Edmund, Raf Marley, and here is myself doing the Rafador. So that's the Rafador. Okay, so the Rafador is, as the name suggests, it is created by Raf Marley or Raf Edmund from Roflo Ilo Ilo. And I've seen him done this a few years back, like as early as two years ago. And it is an underhand movement. First, it's an underhand movement. It's a um, variation to the matadors. So we are doing the matadors in a different way like the hands are both stretched out one is up and the other one is down and it mimics the backstroke style for swimming so it's that <laughs> so what are the things we need to know to get to the rapador first is we need to Hold our rope with our okay fingers because okay fingers is the king. Okay? So okay fingers, always, always okay fingers. Um Raf Marley um suggested to me that we should hold it like this. Okay, so for me, I'm used to doing my okay fingers with my rope all the time. Don't get too excited and don't pinch your handles because um, you might hit yourself and you might injure yourself when you do that. Anyway, so that's the first one. The next one that uh, I'm going to explain to you is the positioning of the hands. So this is very important for you to get the two rolls for the rapador. Okay, so when the hand that is going up reaches the top, so the first time, the first, the first, the first thing that you're going to do is bring your hand up. The palm is facing the inside of the body. And when it reaches the top, what happens is the hand is going to twist and your thumb would go to the front and your palm would face the outside of your body. So that motion will give you the two rows for the row. So one and two. That will give you the matador or the two rows. Okay? So there is another way um, that uh, I tried. So it's one is palm at the front facing the front and then your thumb will twist or your wrist will twist your hand will twist and will face the inside of your body that could also be but uh, if we would like to mimic the backstroke style of swimming it is palm inside twist your wrist palm outside, push the water. So that is um, a better way. 
Okay, so, yeah. So, let's go to the drill. I've already explained what the raffador is. And let's go to the drill, the one side drill. So, we are going to do this pattern. Um, so, it's a one, two, three, four pattern. Okay, so it includes the raise and chase. So, underhand raise and chase. So, it's one, two, three, and four for the, for the matador, for the rapador. And then we're going back to one. Okay? The hand that goes up will be opposite of the last raise and chase, the last raise and chase we did. So I'm going to mirror this. This video is mirrored, so we won't be confused. So the first, um, the first drill I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my right hand up, and the last roll of the raise and chase would be on my left side. Then, there's another thing that's very important for you to get the rapador. And the doggo is barking. Okay, so the 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 next um, important thing should be the other hand, which is stretched out as well as uh, the hand that goes up. The other hand would be left there at the front or at the side of the body, near the side of the body or the side of the body or a little bit at the front. It would just be left there because because the, um, the other times that I tried doing this and the other students that I taught the rapador to, their hands, because they're so used to doing the bowler or the sneak, their hands go to the back or to the back of their, their head. So what you need to, to tell your your hand that which is going to be left there you need to just stay there okay i'm going back i'm just going to check who the doggo is barking at okay and i'm back so for the drill we are going to do this pattern one two three and four and then go back to number one and i'm going to show you how it is done so right arm first so it's one two three and four okay so as you can see i left my other hand here at the bottom don't just try your hardest not to put your hand at the back to do the sneak just leave it there or don't try to put it at the back of your head and do the bowler <laughs> just leave it there <laughs> okay another point for the rapador when we go to our three and four, we will twist our body and the body will slightly face your, your shoulder, your left shoulder will slightly face the front. Okay, so that the rope would be at the back, would roll at the back and will go up. Okay, so again, I'll show you one, two, three and four. That's the... That's the one side drill. So, if you've done the one side drill for the dominant side of your body, I suggest you do it on the other side as well because you will need it. And we don't want to do the rapador on just one side of our body. So we do the drill on the other side as well. For this part, I'm going to do four drills for the right side. And I'm going to do four drills for the left side to show you how it is done. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Was that four or five? <laughs> so that's the right. Now we are going to do the left. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three three four one two three four one two three four so that's the lift okay so that's the one side drill for the rapador and if 
you are finding it difficult to to do it with a rope I suggest that you try to memorize let your body and your mind memorize what your body needs to do so without the rope try the drill one two three four one two three four one two three four try to memorize that first if you are finding it difficult with the rope and once your body is um, used to the movement knows your hands knows where to go your arms know where to go that's the time that you grab your rope and try it again okay so now the third part of the tutorial video is the alternating or the timing for the rapador so to be able to do this alternately it is very important that you have drilled on the right side and the left side okay because if you drilled it for just one side uh, there will be a, a little chance that you will be able to get it so drill right side drill the left side okay if you've done that already what you need to do is mimic mimic how we do our backstrokes so anybody out there who knows how to swim and to do the backstroke probably it's this movement will be easier for you so it's like this so it's one two three four one two three four now um as you can see the moment i reach up and when my hands are going down, this arm is going up as well. So it's alternate. Okay? So, yeah. So that's how you will get the rapador. So first, first you drill it on one side, each side. Next you try to mimic or memorize it by doing the backstroke style for swimming one two three four one two three four one two three four so you have your rope i'll show you how i do it this is how i do it by using the the one side drill i don't go to number one so what I do is I switch my left and my right. So it's, at first I do the one side drill and then I alternate it. So there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything. I think I have shared everything I, try to break it down and yeah <laughs> i hope you learned something and i hope you get this and unlock this and it hurts the first time it hurts the shoulder it hurts the back so try to warm up first before doing this and please follow us on our instagram accounts Raph Marley. And LJ and I'll see you again on our next video and thank you for watching and bye